the first thing we'll um let's talk about uh, gas liquid chromatography ये जो क्रोमाटोग्राफी की जो लेक्चर है आप रिकॉर्ड करेंगे अपलोड करेंगे हां ये मैं कर दूंगा ठीक है ओके अच्छा चलो फर्स्ट थिंग गैस लिक्विड क्रोमाटोग्राफी अह और इसका सिंपल ये कि अह बहुत ज्यादा रिक्वायर्ड भी नहीं है कोई को बेसिक से नॉलेज होना चाहिए इसकी एक पिक्चर में पीस है ढूंढो गैस लिक्विड आई मीन डायग्राम इज नॉट इंपॉर्टेंट एज वेल अह गैस liquid so just a basic diagram theek hai uh the itna sahi nahi hai One second, if you. So I'll 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 draw a diagram myself, uh, or explain me kind of thing, and just uh, over here, okay, what is required? Then there, gas required. As a disclaimer, I understand stationary phase, high boiling point, non-polar liquid, uh, uh, point non-polar liquid on a solid support, uh, mobile phase, unreactive gas, retention time. Interpret uh, the I explain retention time in terms of inter interaction with the stationary stationary phase. I said now, this is what happens uh, in in this map board. I said this is what happens. in a gas liquid chromatography ठीक है you have i say you have let's say you have uh, these tubes ठीक है so let me okay this this will be long long cylindrical tubes that would be coiled up ठीक है so that's one i say here's another one ठीक है it's it's going to be a long cylindrical tube so मोबाइल फेज विच इज एन अनियाटिव गैस सो यूट गॉट एन इनर्ट गैस यूजली नोबल गैस मोबाइलर mixture is is put into the it's put into the mobile phase so you've got uh, as a, you're going to get a vaporized mixture and let's say that mixture contains contains two things it contains a uh, x and y and maybe it contains three substances four substances whatever it is and in these tubes you will have the as in these tubes over here they're going to be lined with a high boiling point as they lined with a high boiling point stationary phase theek hai so that is uh aur yahan pe main dekh leta hu ek second so yahan pe is level uh so it's a high boiling point non polar liquid on solid support so this over here is your stationary phase
so it's a it's a high boiling point as a high boiling point you don't want it to evaporate so high boiling point and it's non polar as well and that's basically your that's basically your stacy phase i said now what's what's going to happen is okay as the particles travel okay there's a mixture of x and y and as the particles travel aur isko agar thoda sa bada karke draw kar lo ke what uh, if i just uh, so for zoom in kar le and i show you a section of the tube as now this is what's going to happen okay there's a mixture of x and y and that is traveling so you've got all these particles of x and particles of y that are mixed together theek hai let's say it's a dye it's a vaporized dye and they are mixed together and in the tube there is this non polar high boiling point stacy phase ab hoga ye ki as the particles are moving as as the particles they move so one of the dyes would be more soluble in the stacy phase the what will happen is okay, let's say the green particles are more soluble so the green particles would start to get absorbed or they would start dissolving in the in the stacy phase ha aur agar if they dissolve in the stacy phase they're going to stop stop moving the red particles would would keep on traveling theek hai they're going to keep on traveling while the green ones would slow down theek hai and maybe after some time uh, i mean the green particles will slow down as a after a certain a certain time the green particles would uh, evaporate again and they would start moving again but the point is that if they are more soluble in the stacy phase they would continue to slow down every time theek hai thodi der baad they would evaporate but uh, so this is how separation is happening idea clear is this clear ठीक है तो सेपरेशन उसकी जो एक्सप्रेशन है ना सेपरेशन हैपेंस व्हाई डज इट हैपेन बिकॉज देयर इज अ डिफरेंस इन सॉल्युबिलिटी सो ड्यू टू आई सेड ड्यू टू डिफरेंस इन सॉल्युबिलिटी अच्छा ऑफ uh of the of the mixture or of the of the component or the dye between stacy and mobile phase and mobile phase so that's that's about it theek hai is this clear ye clear hai yes sir aur sagla part ye ke uh so what how would the results be obtained so what you're going to get on the other side is the output here over here there's going to be a this going to be a graph that's going to be that's going to look like this okay it's going to look like this ke at the very beginning you'll have a big spike theek hai the first thing that you'll obtain is it's going to be the stacy phase it's going to be the liquid theek hai the first thing that you'll get is i mean the liquid would be seeping out so is tubes going to liquid out that's going to be seeping out so that's the first thing that you'll obtain after some time maybe uh x reaches first so if x reaches first so you're going to get x at the other end and after a certain while uh so after a certain while you're going to get y or yahan pe na the axis represents time and there's going to be a retention time 
कि इफ समथिंग समथिंग इज ऑब्टेन्ड अर्लियर इट्स गोइंग टू हैव अ लोअर रिटेंशन टाइम एंड इफ समथिंग इज ऑब्टेन्ड मच मच लेटर दैट्स गोइंग टू हैव अ मच हायर रिटेंशन टाइम ठीक है सो इज दिस क्लियर सर जो लेटर ऑप्टेन होगा उसका हाई रिटेंशन टाइम होगा हां क्योंकि टाइम ज्यादा है ना बेसिकली जैसे वो आरएफ होता था आरएफ वैल्यू इसमें उसमें रिटेंशन फैक्टर होता है इसमें रिटेंशन टाइम होता है कि इफ समथिंग समथिंग डजंट डिसॉल्व इन द स्टेसी फेज इट जस्ट मूव्स वेरी क्विकली फ्रॉम द इन द ट्यूब्स तो इट विल इमीडिएटली बी ऑप्टेन एट द अदर एंड एंड इट विल बी डिटेक्टेड बाय द डिटेक्टर ठीक है अब ये एरिया जो इन कर्व स्कैन है द एरिया रिप्रेजेंट्स इट रिप्रेजेंट्स वो the amount the amount of the substance so you can by looking at the area you can tell k which one is more x or is it y theek hai that's about it so clear hai ji sir oh manish mal i'll just add ke uh If there is if there is higher retention time, so so that means the the substance uh, is soluble in the stasis phase, or is more soluble in the stasis phase. Sir, so, because it is there, so detect it. Ah, because it is behind the stasis phase. I mean, it is going to mix with it again, right? Ja na. is more soluble in the stasis phase so that's it um or is guys i'll just do a question on this ke uh, let me just find one question oh basic sa question hoga just a second गैस अच्छा और कोई इससे ज्यादा डिटेल इंपॉर्टेंट नहीं है ठीक है अच्छा एक वीडियो भी है उसकी ये देख रहे हैं भाई नहीं रहा अच्छा पेपर क्रोमेटोग्राफी इज नो लॉन्गर आई 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 डेंट फाइंड इट देखा ना बट पेपर क्रोमेटोग्राफी इज इज नॉट रेडी देयर अच्छा ओके पेपर क्रोमेटोग्राफी एंड गैस लिक्विड क्रोमेटोग्राफी बोथ रिलाई ऑन द पार्टेशन ऑफ कंपाउंड्स बिटवीन मोबाइल एंड स्टेशी फेस Identify the mobile. So paper chromatography. Suggest what type of liquid is used for the stasis phase in a gas. Here we make here. Uh, what type of liquid? It's a it's a high boiling point liquid, and it's non-polar. Okay, I'm gonna say this one. Uh, both these techniques can be used to separate mixture state. What you would measure in order to distinguish between the components. Gas liquid chromatography is all about retention time. Okay, clear? तो इधर मैं ऐड कर दूं के यहां पे यू विल बी मेजरिंग रिटेंशन रिटेंशन टाइम अच्छा और क्या के लेट मी फाइंड अनदर क्वेश्चन कि हाँ ये वाला you would diagram given a gas chromatogram is given and uh, an alkene a carboxylic acid and a ketone of similar volatility are mixed together similar volatility ka matlab hai ke uh separation is not based on volatility ke i mean they would evaporate at the same rate 
So the separation of the three compounds depends on the relative solubility in the liquids in the stacy phase. The liquid stacy phase is an alkene. So it's a it's a non-polar. It's a non-polar alkene. So that's the liquid. Okay. So, bin me se batao ke which one is going to be more soluble in the alkene? Alkene, carboxylic acid or ketone? Sir, alkene, kyu ke wo non-polar hoga. Thik hai. So, alkene jo hai na, that's going to be taking the longest. L is alkene. Is that clear? Or, wo kaun se jo dissolve nahi hoga? Carboxylic acid forms hydrogen bonds. Thik hai. So, it will not be interested in the alkene. So, this would be carboxylic acid because it's highly polar and then K is the that's the ketone is this clear? so I mean carboxylic acids are uh, more polar than ketones yes because it's OH right? oh yes sir. okay just the rest of it that uh, explanation was said to see that two marks of question that's about it and the area is given to say the area underneath each peak is proportional to the mass the percentage is responsible was more percentage of uh, K nikal. Yeah, so this is the total mixture. So what is the percentage of K? It's going to be 18 divided by the whole thing, which is 46 plus 18 plus 28 into 100 TK. So you'll you'll get the percentage TK. But see, is So is this clear? Yes, sir. Okay. So the next one. Okay. Jo dusre. Is Achai, wala, thin layer chromatography. Uh, achai, exactly na usi thina hai. RF values. It's, it's paper chromatography jo basically thi jo wala was with It's exactly the same. Uh, Ida wo kya stacy phase, uh, but, but it's exactly the same. Except uh, ki wo uh, uske andar main thora sa explain kar dete hain usko thora sa theek hai. So thin layer chromatography is kind of the same as your O levels chromatography. Okay, so in the next chromatography, you'll have, uh, you'll have, usually a metal, uh, look, it's vertical draw, let's say. It's usually a metallic uh, plate. Or scuperna, there's there's aluminium oxide. Okay, so there's a there's an aluminium oxide usually in the form of a gel that's coated on it. Okay, that's uh, that's placed on it uh, on a solid support. That's that's your stacy phase. Okay, that doesn't move. So what you do is you have a mobile phase. So there's a liquid that carries the mixture. There's a mobile phase. And that can be any, any liquid. So it could be any polar or or even non-polar liquid. Um, it's, it's, it's could be, it could be any polar, non-polar liquid, and it's, uh, it's a mobile phase. Plus, it will contain the mixture as well. Whatever that mixture is, let's say it's, uh, it's got particles of X and particles of Y. 
what what will happen is uh, there's going to be a concept called adsorption now the okay, red particles if they're traveling and they don't get attracted to the aluminum oxide layer that's at the bottom so the particles would continue to travel along with the with the solvent with the mobile phase uh, but ye jo green wale if they start bonding with the or they get attracted to the to the aluminum oxide gel so they would stop so this is known as adsorption adsorption us pe bhi tha ke they form weak bonds so if a substance as is pe hoga ke if a substance uh, forms weak bonds with the stacy phase or gets attracted to the stacy phase then it will slow down मतलब हमारे मिक्सचर में जो भी चीज ज्यादा ज्यादा सॉल्यूबल होगी इन द स्टेशनरी फेज वो होगी नहीं नहीं करो के लेट्स से यू हैव जो भी चीज है उसके उसके साथ अट्रैक्ट हो रही होगी इधर सॉलिबिलिटी नहीं है इट्स जेल तो एनीथिंग दैट्स गेट दैट गेट्स अट्रैक्टेड और बाइंड्स विद द जेल वो फिर रुक जाएगी जो नीट बाइंड करेगी दैट विल कंटिन्यू टू मूव फर्दर ऑन ठीक है एग्जैक्टली यस सर तो उसका सिस्टम ने क्रोमेटोग्राफी अह कोई एक डायग्राम ठीक है ये तो उन्होंने बिल्कुल वैसे ही बनाया हुआ है इसको कॉपी भी कर लेते हैं अच्छा दैट्स योर दैट्स बेसिकली योर ओ लेवल स्टफ तो इफ समबडी इफ समबडी इज गोइंग टू आस्क यू टू कैलकुलेट द आरएफ वैल्यूज तो इट्स एग्जैक्टली द सेम बट रिमेंबर इट्स डिफरेंट क्योंकि इट्स नॉट पेपर क्रोमेटोग्राफी पेपर क्रोमेटोग्राफी वाज वाज डिफरेंट इसका जो पीछे कांसेप्ट है ना वो डिफरेंट है यहां पे इट्स अ इट्स अ जेल इट्स अ इट्स अ थिन लेयर क्रोमेटोग्राफी प्लेट इसके ऊपर इज अ जेल एंड द सॉल्वेंट इज पासिंग थ्रू इट और उस पॉट ऑफ मिक्सचर लगा हुआ है ठीक है और यहां पे यू गो कैलकुलेट आर एफ वैल्यू सो व्हाट व्हाट वर आर एफ वैल्यूज इट्स द डिस्टेंस दैट इज ट्रैवल्ड बाय द सॉल्वेंट डिवाइड बाय द डिस्टेंस दैट इज ट्रैवल्ड बाय द डाई ठीक है ये तो याद रखना क्या होता है आर एफ वैल्यू the so distance of dye or mixture or us could divide kar dena distance of solvent from as a distance of solvent sir so that is that is our value sir question there this is a question the body there uh thin what you can मैंने तो बहुत ही कम देखा है इसका क्वेश्चन सो इवन वन क्वेश्चन दैट्स ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन Oh. Exactly, we all of us have a question. R F value is given. Hai. So all you have to do is to match the R F value, measure it. Uh, so you can do that. Solvent front. Uh, remember, baseline to start with is equal to zero to. So amino acid responsible for spot A. Add the R F value calculator. You'll find the and then match the R F value. The second chromatogram of the same mixture is taken using a more polar solvent. predict the effect on rf value of amino acids acha so so remember amino acids are polar as well 
So if it's a more polar solvent, the amino acids will travel a lot lesser distance. Because, uh, nee, sorry, the solvent is more polar. So the amino acid would remain dissolved in the solvent. You about clear? And they would travel a larger distance. You about to if it's more polar, hoga, to amino acids are polar, though they would remain part of the solvent. Hai? Those phase bhi nahi they, they will continue to move with, this, with the polar solvent. So RF values would be much larger. Ski reasoning, this is one more. You explain the reasoning, so you'll do that. Hai? So that's that's kind of about it. That's it's not a difficult question. Hai? So, so this is more soluble in the mobile phase. मोबाइल फेज में माइनो एसिड और पोलर और आपका सोलवेंट भी पोलर है जिसका मतलब है कि आपका जो माइनो एसिड है इट्स मोर लाइकली टू बी टू रिमेन पार्ट ऑफ द सोलवेंट राइट इट विल कंटिन्यू टू मूव विद द सोलवेंट क्योंकि वो सोलवेंट से ज्यादा अट्रैक्ट हो रहा होगा एंड तो इसलिए वो ज्यादा ट्रैवल करेगा जो चीज मोबाइल फेज में रहेगी वो फिर ज्यादा ट्रैवल करेगी जो स्टेशी फेज में चली जाएगी वो कम ट्रैवल करेगी ठीक है तो इस इसलिए तो बस ये इसमें बाकी तो कोई चीज ही नहीं है बस दो तीन छोटी मोटी चीजें थी वो भी होगी चलो ठीक है ये फिर कल कर लेते हैं वैसे अब खत्म हो गया और नई चीज नहीं पड़ी क्वेश्चन बस लेके आना ठीक है चलो ओके Thank you so much for this.